Today we're going to meet one of the better writer character in the Shadowrun Hunter. Uh, this is Rector, and he lives under the boat. This uh, all this thing is his uh, personal space in the boat. Sizable boot, rather humpy. Let's talk to him. It's uh, oppressively uh, hot down there, and the air is full of synthetic odors that grab you by the sinuses and refuse to let go. You can smell the engine grease and melting plastic, ionized air and lead oil solder. A quick scan of the room tells you why the downstairs tenant has converted his space into a machine shop. Metal fabrication looks like Dura Palast. Extruders line that walls and pair heavy industrial manipulators coming from the sea. A man in black trench coat stands with the back to you, staring at monitor mounted above a sturdy workbench. He addresses you without turning. Don't stay stand. Ah, I was wondering when I do meet new neighbor. His voice is pleasant, cool to read. There is a hint of a Russian accent. I cannot fucking fake Russian accent. But it's buried under the layers of nuance. Please stay where you are. I will be with you in just a moment, and unless you fancy a un planet trip to the Chrome Alley, don't touch anything. There are all manner of tools in the here that could take you can't clean off. <laughs> Take your time, time. I won't touch anything. Ah, you are very too kind. Thank you. Examine robotic arm mounted to the ceiling. You focus on enormous manipulator arms that have uh, that is a very you bulk industrial things dented from years of heavy use. Each arm has been filtered with at least a dozen different vaders, soldering, guns, extruders and metal fabrication tools. You seen seen machinery like this in factories before, but they look terrible out of place in the bolt hole pump engine room. Very good, yes, that's coming along nicely. Very nicely indeed. He turns towards you, sneering and uh, smiling, and for the first time you can see the, the, his face. He has broadly handsome Slavic features and chiseled jaw. His eyes are the left of eyes. So sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Grace, it's no problem, don't worry about it. You're too kind, now tell me, what can I do for? He wars the race that of motion catches his eyes. With alarming speed, a sinister looking drone, sculptor out from under the work table, its movement are surprisingly agile and fluid. The machine moves back, menacingly spreading its foreleg in the clear and of aggression. This is Robo Spider. It's the uh, most awesome shit about him. The man smiles, tilts, and his tone goes apologetic, 
Please don't mind the drone, he can be territorial. <laughs> but so long as you remain civil, he will not bite. <sighs> he extends a hand, so you see the drone relaxes into the neutral position, lowering its killing leg. Erector, my mechanical counterpart here is called Koshei. Shake his hand, a pleasure. His hand rolls uh, seriously, I don't care. Okay, I, I'm very pleasant to meet you, my friend. In a community such as here, I'm... Uh, it's important to be on good terms with your neighbors. Agree. Speaking of which, I do like to ask you some questions if you have time. Very well. This morning casting should still be cooling for a few minutes yet. That's time and much to talk. Koshe is an interesting name for a drone. Yes, I suppose that's uh, this. Fuck, I had academic background in other heart. <laughs> yes, I suppose that this. Not many riggers would name their most prized possession after a villain from a fairy tale. <sighs> What was the fairy tale about? Koshe is that was uh, he was called and for good reason his soul was cleverly hidden outside of his body and he could not be killed as long as remain intact. Mm -hmm. Villain and notorious kidnapper and woman, but something about him always stood with me. That it was the notion of immortality through the cleverness, the cleverness and res resonated. There was something to be learned from that. I was sure and so, when it came time to name my beloved creation, his, well, he was the first name that came to my mind. And is your drone deathless, like namesake? In the manner of speaking, I suppose that he is. I have redundant copies of every piece of his architecture and his core programming. He stored on disk in secret location, should he ever suffer critical damage, I can easily bring him back. Uh, this is very good background for uh, uh, drone operatives because they always repair their drones. One day I will reclaim it. Uh, wait, I had plan once to automate the self-repair process. I must confess <laughs> it was really quite ingenious, <laughs> but <laughs> alas, my research was lost. One day I will reclaim it and Cochet will become as deadless as the stories claim, but it will not be today. When you say that morning casting, what did you mean? He mean he was fucking melting metal, fuck, for fuck's sake. Exactly what I said, casting, that's a made of new locomotive assembly for Cochet. A biometric design, as you can see, this one is uh, inspired by the walking legs of Decapod, Krustitian, a mingle of crap to be specific. You design drone part in here, or that fascinating me. That fascinating, and uh, will this new leg assembly make your drone more effective? That remain to be seen, but where is more to life than combat effectiveness if there is not 
But if you're creating new components for Koshei, I unlock options, different way to of being. Even the failures, and there have been many, have value in this context. Wouldn't it be simply to design parts here and also fabrication? It's not... It's not... Also transportation, smuggling fucking parts? No, it's not. It's kind of stupid question. How did you learn to do all this? More training and expertise than I care to mention. <laughs> Drone architecture was once my profession, you see. No, it's more of a calling. One that I'm free to pursue. Now that I have freed myself from the shackles of corporate servitude. You got some interesting machinery in here, not the kind you typically see outside of corporate settings. The same could be said of money in Heyo. I'm sure this is smugglers then, is it not? Our entire economy is based on people having things that they should... <laughs> <laughs> is there a particular device that interests you out of curiosity? A robotic arm that uh, you got over here, they look like something taken from an automotive assembly plant. Good guess, that's precisely what they are. Yet they fell off a boat, you might say, <laughs> when weren't cheap, but I acquired them, had them mounted to the walls of my shop, I simply had to have them. <sighs> the returns on the investment has been dramatic, yes. They are crude by far than the Waldo devices that I used in my professional life, but they still do the job and they are mine. They have increased my, my fabrication capabilities near tenfold, and that, to me, is worth any price. Are you Russian? I catch the accent. He knows. You have a good ear. I'm impressed. Yes, I grew up in Nizli Gnovigoldoro. <laughs> Nizli Novgorod. Went to a school there, started my career there in the industrial sector, a fairly common story, I'm sure. But I have also traveled a great deal. And I'm doing, I, I have absorbed a number of other languages and dialects. How many languages do you speak? Counting Russian and Cantozi, 15. It's shame me to admit that I'm only literate in 12, however. That's still impressive. Perhaps when compared to common men, but I, I have no a great many polyglot who can and do put me to shame. Arabic has been particular boob girl beer of mine. The unfamiliarity character and lack of voice make it damn tricky to get a hand on. But I suppose the all men have their limits. You say that you used to work for a corp. Whose paler were you on? That's something of sore subject. My departure was involuntary, you see. I did not part ways with my employer under the best of terms. I will tell you that I worked for Grishnish Aviakor, but you will forgive me if I don't want to do uh, go into the detail. So this Grishnish Aviakor 
is never mentioned anywhere unless I completely fucking missed that. But it's not manufacturer for of any body parts or any prosthetics or anything useful. Uh, I didn't. May, maybe in Dragonfall there is a drone with something like this, but I probably probably just projecting. Keeping all this machinery running can't be cheap. How do you afford it? Freelance at the risk of sounding immodest, I have commodified myself rather well. There are always cooperation in need of design consultations. You do be surprising by how creative such work can be, and there is always other work that I can learn to in a pinch. You say that you did other work besides consulting. I care to tell what kind? Rather personal question, wouldn't you say? Maybe, but then we are having a personal conversation. Indeed, we are. But even in personal conversation, personal topic can be held off limits. Truth be told, I don't feel especially comfortable table discussing my side work with relative strangers if he's it to say that my freelance activities often fall on the incline end of the spectrum uh, so he's shadow runner tell me what i'm going to guess you are shadow runner aren't you i dislike the term but yes i run the shadows what gave me away Design consultant living in apartment in Victoria Harbor. You are living in Rusted Old Boat in Hayo. There is gotta be reason for that. You are correct, of course. <laughs> too poor to live elsewhere or engage in behavior too implicit to risk it. I will admit being in the latter camp. Designing robotic is my passion, but it doesn't always pay the bills. My status as foreigner has proved something un independent in this regard. And so, sorry as I might be, be to say, it the Leon's share of my income flows from Koshay aptitude for butchery. To this life, I suppose, we do what we must, what we love. So it seems like everybody in this boat runs the shadow. Why not pull our resources and work together? A compelling offer I'm doing quite well on my own. But I must admit that there is further into the jobs for which I'm unsweeted. Magic eludes me and I'm not a decker. My strength comes from material objects in the real world, solid things with mass and heft. Things that I can build, roll, operate. Sadly, great many clients are only interested in teams that this play a uh, master over the intangible. This group of you, do you have people who can cover this basis? If not, if so, then perhaps I can help each other out. Yes, we have Shaman Decker bot competent In that case, I will accept your offer on a provisional basis. We'll do a few runs together and see how we get on. If your association bears through it, it will continue. If not, I will bid you my farewell and go back to working alone. How does it sound? Welcome aboard. Very good, excellent. When you receive a job, you know where to find me. 
My skills and resources are at your disposal. And with that I'm afraid that I must bid you good day. I still have work to do down there. This leg assembly won't clean itself. I will be in touch. Looking forward for working with you. And with you. Okay. So that was our meeting. This is Rector, he's drone operative, he's very competent. And here you can check if you wanna level him for move speed, which is ex excellent. Or accuracy, which is also excellent. Uh, due to my uh, consistency problems with the game, I prefer accuracy. But both are excellent choices here. And with that we meet a Rector, Rigger, and we will end this episode here. Thanks for watching.